Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup releases. We are going to chat about the new makeup products that's been released, announced and sneak peeked. Whether or not I want to pick it up, whether or not I already have, whether or not we are definitely anti-hauling them. And then you let me know down in the comments how you feel about these products. <laughs> But before we get into talking about the new products this week, we actually have a sponsor on this video. I'm so excited to let you know that this video is sponsored by Scentbird. Thank you so much Scentbird for coming back and sponsoring another video on my channel. If you didn't know, I am actually a Scentbird customer. I have my own Scentbird subscription and in every monthly haul on my channel, I tell you which scent I picked for myself, how I feel about it, which notes it has and everything like that. And for the sponsorship, Scentbird did send me three different fragrances and I will let you know which ones they picked for me and how I feel about them in just a second. Scentbird is reimagining how people discover, shop for, and even experience fragrances. They are a subscription service where you get to pick a fragrance that they send to you once every month. So yes, you get to pick your own fragrance and you get to put up this amazing list of what fragrances you get to discover next. They have this amazing website where they list everything, not only by brand, but also by notes. So if you discover a scent through Scentbird that has a note that you really love, say coffee, for example, you can just go through and see what other scents have have a coffee note on their site and maybe put that up as like your scent to discover for next month. The subscription is only $17 a month and they have some really high-end expensive fragrances on there like Prada, Gucci, Versace, but also some other luxury brands and also really interesting niche brands, which is super fun because fragrances are expensive. Some of them go for like two, three hundred dollars a bottle. Like it's crazy out there. And who wants to blind buy something that expensive? With Scentbird, you get a 30 day supply of an expensive perfume. So you get to really try it out before you know if you want to commit to a full bottle. Scentbird is just such a great way for you to try the fragrance for a longer period of time before you commit to the full bottle. Or maybe you're like me and you just love having a bunch of different fragrances. Then this is the perfect way to just have so many different ones at hand, you know, one for dates, one for the gym, one for laying around in the couch. Yes, I spray myself with perfume for laying around in the couch. Don't come for me. <laughs> the fragrances that they sent me this month is Sisley Le Rêve Daria. My French is not what it's supposed to be. This has Mandarin, Black Currant, Osmanthus, Vanilla and Patchouli. All of those notes are notes that I can love, but not always. So let's see how I feel about this one. Oh, that's very, mmm. It's almost, the mandarin and the patchouli together is almost bringing it to a ginger note. It's very fresh and almost a little tart in the opening. And I love black currant is one of my favorite notes in perfume. It says warm, sensual and fruity, but it definitely opens up very zesty and I love that. Next fragrance is one that I didn't even know these make fragrances and I'm so excited to be trying this out. This is Deck of Scarlet, Not Your Girl. And listen to these notes. Rum, Jasmine, Cardamom, Patchouli, Amber. This could be a match made in heaven. I love a boozy note. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. There's something very nostalgic about this one. Mm, that rum note and the cardamom. Mmm. What is this reminding me of? There's something. I have a childhood memory attached to this one. Wow. Deck of Scarlet. Welcome, babe. I didn't know about you, but I'm happy you're here. Mmm. And the last one, which comes in my absolute favorite one, that is a yellow. I love the yellow case. This is Floral Street Arizona Bloom. I've never been to Arizona and I've actually never tried Floral Street, but I always keep sniffing them when I'm at Sephora. I'm super excited to be trying out the brand. This is Coconut Jasmine Salted Musks Oak Moss and Madagascar Black Pepper. This could also be amazing. I am not usually a person that goes for floral scents. But I will say the other things in here mm, does uh, like sound like something I would like. Yes, there is definitely a air of salted coconut in here. It's almost like 
a very luxurious coconut feeling to it because of the salt, like the salted musk and the oak moss and the black pepper. Because here's the thing, I usually don't go for a coconut scents because I usually think they're too sweet. I almost feel like they're sickly on me. I'm not the person that goes for typical gourmand scents. I usually want something that's saltier, something that's more unisex. And that's one of the things that I really love about Scentbird is that they have so many unisex scents as well. Not only like female or male fragrances. They also have a lot of fragrances that are labeled as gender neutral, as unisex, and that's more what I'm into. Mmm. There is something that's so soft with this one. It almost is like coconut skin, and that's probably the salt. Mmm. I actually want to, I want to wear this today. Don't mind if I do. Mm. So if you want to know more about Scentbird, if you want to check what they have, you can either click the link down below in my description box or you can scan the little QR thing that I have on the screen during this time. You can just find out more about Scentbird. If you use my code NEEKVIST55, you will get 55% off your first order, making your first fragrance just a bit over $7. Scentbird is available in the US and in Canada. And thank you again, Scentbird, for coming back to my channel and sponsoring another video. I really do enjoy Scentbird. So I did film this makeup look and it is for an upcoming release that we're going to be talking about in just a smidgen, just a little bit. Um, it hasn't been revealed yet though, so take your guesses. <laughs> take your guesses. I also have an extra PR box from Odensei for the release that they had last week, and we're going to have just a short little giveaway about that towards the end of the video. It's going to be super, super simple. I just happen to have an extra one. I did have a giveaway that ended last Friday, and I've been trying to get in contact with the winners. I've been able to get in contact with five of the six winners. Uh, as I'm filming this, I haven't, like, I haven't answered back to you, but I see I see your mails. I see that you answered me back. Uh, I will ship those boxes out as soon as possible, but I'm still waiting for the sixth person. So check your emails and make sure that it's not you. Make sure that you're like you're checking your emails because I did have a sixth winner and I did contact six winners, but so far only five of them have contacted me back. Okay, let me scoochy scoochy so we can get into talking about the new makeup because I'm excited. Okay, I'm grabbing out my own brushes here because first of all, I wanted to talk about that Cinch Beauty, my very own makeup brand. We were having our first ever sale. We're doing a sale now during the Memorial Day weekend and the sale is ongoing right now as you're watching this and it's gonna be going on until Monday. So check the details in the description box. You will be able to get 20% off your order with the code Memorial Day 20. I'll put that as well down below. Uh, these are three sets all in one, but basically we are selling a brush set with brushes. These bristles are vegan and cruelty free, but they are made to emulate a natural bristle brush. So they're very easy to pick up eyeshadow with. They blend very easily. I'm super proud of this set. And I'm so excited that so many of you seem to be loving this one as well. So if you've been eyeing this set or if you were waiting for a sale, or maybe you want to buy a second set, or maybe you want to buy one as a gift, or maybe you have a friend that you want to recommend it to, now might be the time because you can get 20% off your order. And thank you again for all the support and all the love. It truly is heartwarming to see all the nice comments and it truly means a lot and also if you don't want any brushes or if you can't afford anything don't feel like you need to shop anything to be <laughs> supporting me or supporting my channel only if you really want them and if you feel like it's something for you so speaking of the thing that i have on my eyes Nomad Cosmetics is um, sneak peeking a new palette and it is supposed to be revealed tomorrow on Saturday as you're watching this. Um, and also, uh, basically by chance, there's absolutely no correlation whatsoever. This look is also going to be up on my channel tomorrow on Saturday. This palette is going to be released on May 30th, and if you want to get some more info about this palette, if you want to see swatches and hear the whole story and see everything and see two different looks, again, that's going to be tomorrow's video on Saturday. Um, I'm hoping you're going to enjoy it. I do have a code with Nomad. My code is Jeshka, and you can get 10% off your order. I am excited to see what people think about this palette. Let me put it like that. I'm... Um, um, Excited to see the comments. And also quick reminder that the collaboration between my bestie Heather Austin and Unearthly Cosmetics is now available. It launched yesterday. I have no idea if it sold out or not. I don't know because like as I'm filming this, it is literally 11.10. So it just launched, but 
I love my bestie and I love Unearthly Cosmetics and I'm super super proud and happy for them and even though you cannot use discount codes on this collection, if you're adding anything else to your order, you can get 10% off your order with the code Anjeshka. I will leave that down below as well. But yeah, congratulations on a beautiful collection. I do have a video doing two looks and I also have a reel and a short here on YouTube showing a third tutorial in case you're interested. This one is being delivered to me today. We're getting into the weekly Colourpop segment. They're releasing another big palette. And this is the Smoking Hot Mega Palette. Uh, spice up your looks with 30 shades of burnt red, rich browns, terracottas, and sparkling golds. This isn't necessarily my color scheme. I don't, as I say as I'm sitting here with um, a neutral look, I do like neutrals, especially mixed with a bright lip. And I love neutrals when I can make them bold. And I do think there are options in this palette because there is a super, super dark, almost black and brown in here. And there is two really light shades, almost white. And there is like a bright orange. There seems to be a matte like almost burnt red in here as well. So I definitely think that there are possibilities in this palette to make bold looks, but also more neutral leaning looks. Do you want me to do looks with this when I get it? Because like I said, it's being delivered to me today, tonight. I won't have time to film with this tomorrow because um, it's been a lot. I'm, um, I'm filming 10 videos this week, 10 videos in four days. You do the math. Uh, we're leaving for Europe on the 6th of June. We're having some people taking care of our pets and house sitting, of course. But yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of things to fix before that. Even though I'm, I'm going to take a vacation, I'm only going to have a few videos up when I'm gone. But also me and my husband are doing a weekend in Dallas and Fort Worth this weekend. So it's just been a lot of things going on, a lot of time consuming things. Plus, I have a lot of stuff behind the scene that's going on. So I don't know if I'll be able to film something with like maybe I get ready with me. Like, what would you like? Please let me know. I do have a code with Colourpop as well. My code is Anjeshka. I think a lot of people will love this. A lot of people love the Mega Palettes from Colourpop. I prefer their smaller palettes, their 9 pan, their tw uh, 12 pan. I even like their 16 pan, but I haven't seen them do something like that in a bit. They also have some, is it 15 pan? or 20, now I don't remember, but like they have some different, I like their somewhat smaller palettes. I will say that I have tried three or four of their mega palettes. I didn't love the Stone Cold Fox. I thought that there were a couple of shades in that palette that was not their best formula. Uh, Color-wise, it's also not my favorite color scheme. I have been doing looks uh, with the, there's actually, yeah, there was one yesterday where I was doing that palette as well, the It's a Mood palette. I think the quality of that one is extraordinary. So I'm hoping that this is great quality. I would love to hear your thoughts about this one. Is it different enough? Is this like a Morphe 35O but make it 2023? Honestly, I don't know. Because I don't really love super big palettes. So I feel like whatever was in here, I'd still be like, I'd prefer a smaller one. But I would love to hear your thoughts about this because there are a lot of people in my comments that love big palettes. And I would love to hear what you think about this color story. This is something that I actually think that I will be purchasing. And I think that this is a great release for NYX and they are releasing jumbo pens in the highlighter format and these are twist ups so you don't have to be sharpening them. I think this is a great release. There is a bunch of colors. Uh, it seems to have a pretty good like range and also there is one color that's a little bit more of a funky color. It's a pink with like a lilac shift. I think that creating a couple of highlighters for different skin tones and then doing one that's a little bit more fun in this at this point kind of retro packaging i honestly think this is a good release for nyx i think this one is going to do well if this is a good formula i think this will be a popular release for them and i mean i saw this and i read what it was and immediately i was like yeah i want that because i do i want this i think it's super pretty it's going to be eight dollars each six shades that's a great price point it is available now It is available now. I think I'm gonna wait until I get back from Europe because the last thing I need is to be buying new makeup right now, but it is tempting. Should I be scooching even more? This is probably, according to me, the most exciting thing in this video that I don't already own. Does this make sense? Of course, I'm the most excited about like my own brand and my bestie doing a collab, but this is an upcoming sneak peek from Natasha Denona. And this is just someone took a picture inside a makeup store where they were putting up something new for the display. 
and they're putting up a chartreuse green stand that has the yucca palette. You had me at green? And there also seems to be three new liners because when I zoom in, it is the Macrotech extension, which is her um, cold like a Kayal or cold liners. So I am very excited in seeing what this is. I'm guessing by the color scheme of the like the eyeshadow pens, I'm thinking this is going to be a warm greens with a mix of neutrals. And I'm like, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Oh, it's spotted at... Ulta Beauty and it's going to be a midi palette. And if the stand is out now, when is this coming? I am excited. Are you excited? I'm excited for you. I'm excited for all of us. This is going to be one of the things that I buy and review because I love Natasha Nona quality. I love her palette. And I most of all like the way she does color stories in a way that's always according to me, appealing both to me as a color lover, but also seems to be appealing to people that are more into neutrals. There was a couple of palettes that I wasn't like head over heels for. Uh, I don't love the glam palette, but it's also I don't love cool tones or like gray taupes on me. And I also didn't love the, uh, the not the retro with the plums. I love that one. The other retro, the retro love. Was that what, what was it called? You know that like khaki green and pink? I thought that one was a little dusty. For my liking but i saw people who don't love as dramatic makeup as me loving it so that could have been the reason natasha denona is also coming out with some new lip liners and these are the i need a nude lip crayon shades and these are already available at sephora and ulta and they're just coming out with new shades Vina, Gaia, emily renee cleo leon stormy and luna and you know what they look cute. Uh, I'm guessing these are, yeah, lip liners that you can line your lips. I think Natasha Nona makes really, really good um, lip colors. Do I need another lip liner from her? Not really. I have two. I think they're beautiful. Do I need another one? Not really. I think these are great wearable shades that a lot of people are going to enjoy. Had any of these been a little bit more terracotta or like yellowy brown leaning, I definitely would have picked it up. But just looking at the shades, I think it's a good release, but it's nothing that I need. This release had me a little bit confused. This is from Beauty Bay, and they released a limited edition sundown collection. And honestly, I like this color story of this palette. It's a very cute color story. I have grown to really love the quality of the Beauty Bay palettes, but I could only buy this as a collection, and the collection is a little ad hoc it, it's literally a highlighter a palette and some skincare and i'm like i don't i don't, I don't want that like i don't want to be rude but like i don't want that maybe there was like a lip gloss or something so it's a palette a highlighter a lip gloss and then there's like a squalane grapeseed oil serum hybrid and a makeup bag no thank you like literally no thank you like i would even i would even go so far to say that I would pay extra for you to take that out and not send it to me. Because if there is one thing I really feel like I could spend money on right now is less items. So I don't understand. Maybe I should go and look because now I'm like, you know, you can only buy it as a set. But I looked the first day and you can only buy it as a set. And now I'm literally going to go in and see if they change that. If you can buy it as just like the palette. Hold. Nope. Only the set. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to get rid of those like grape seed, whatever. But like literally the weirdest set I've ever seen in my life. Why are you putting in skincare? I don't want that. I don't want to pay for that. Can I just buy the palette? Please and thank you. But I guess not. So I'm just skipping. I'm skipping because I literally don't understand. I don't want it. No. Ooh, we were talking about the sneak peek from Pat McGrath last week and pretty soon after I filmed or pretty soon after I maybe after I posted it was announced that they're doing the Divine Blush Color Bomb collection and in true <laughs> Pat McGrath fashion it is pink. I will say I think the component of this blush stick is not having that air of luxury that I think that her brand packaging has been known for and i have noticed if you've tried her old li uh, lipsticks or at least seen them in store they have a weight to them they're very luxurious feeling 
Her Mothership's palettes are very luxurious feeling, but the palettes in the Star Wars collection felt like the packaging felt flimsy. These components for the blush sticks, not that duo, because there's a blush and highlighter balm duo, that looks beautiful, but the blush sticks look like a ColourPop component. I mean, they do, I'm sure the quality is better, but like it does look like a ColourPop component. And also the new lipsticks that came out with the little bow on them, that's also a plastic component. And I'm not saying this to like rain on anyone's parade, I'm just saying that it has been pretty visible to anyone that's been keeping up that there has been some kind of a change in how they do the packaging, maybe to be able to lower prices, because I know the new lipsticks with the bow are cheaper than the old lipsticks in the more heavy duty packaging. And what is the price, for, now that I'm saying that, what is the price for the bombs? $29, I mean, that could have been more. I, if Pat McGath released these and said they were $45, I wouldn't have been surprised. So I think $29 is a good price for the bombs, and I'm guessing part of the reason that it can be $29 is because of the packaging. So let's at least be happy for that, that when it comes in a little bit more of a flimsy packaging, the prices do seem to go down a bit. The quad is called Passion Fleur, and it is 62, and I really think that's a cute quad. Three shimmery shades that is a light, a medium, a dark, and then a matte that I think will work on a lot of different skin tones. And then it is the Highlighter and Balm Duo, which is 58. And it has the nicer packaging. There are two products in it. And I think that that makes sense. And I wouldn't have been surprised if all of these balm sticks were like $50 or $45 in a more heavy duty component. So I think we have to be happy about that. I mean, 29 is not nothing. But with Pat McGrath, it's kind of a steal. You can buy everything for $245. Why would you buy one, two, three, four, five, six, six different blush sticks plus the duo? Don't, don't buy that. Don't buy that. It is coming soon. Usually Pat McGrath launches on her website a couple of weeks early and then it shows up at Sephora as well. So if you're like me and you're trying not to shop from her website because her shipping is literally two to three months, I would recommend uh, waiting for Sephora. This one is coming soon as well. There's been a little sneak peek from Fenty. Fenty is coming with a foundation stick. Um, I am yet to find a foundation stick that I like. With that being said, the Skin Tint from Fenty is one of my top three foundations of all time. I'm probably gonna be packing that one when we go to Dallas this weekend, probably gonna be packing that when we go to Europe in June. So I have high hopes that it's gonna be a nice formulation. It's, oh, oh, oh. This is me like realizing what the text says. The first shots of the upcoming novelty from Fenty Beauty has appeared, namely the new tonal cream tint in the format of a stick eavesdrop blur. That is the foundation I'm talking about, the eavesdrop. Is it that in a stick? Oh, this one just went from a five on the scale to a 635. If this is the eavesdrop in a stick, Sign me the fluff up. I'm buying two shades. I am already excited. Yes, yes, yes. I hope that's true. Oh, this this one I actually have here somewhere. I don't know where I put it, but I used it in a video that's coming on Monday where I'm trying out new products that have launched at Sephora. And that is the new LYS mascara. This mascara is a lash confident. It is a curling lengthening mascara and it says it's a triple action mascara with the bent uh, wands. I will be using this in Monday's video. So far, I think it's okay, but the bent wand is not for me. I feel like... It, it, with some time, I probably could make it work, but I thought it was a little bit hard to use. And I also think that that comes from that. I don't think I've ever had a mascara with that. So I think that my technique was probably off. If I was to use this even more, I probably would figure out a way to make it work for me. Because if there's one thing that this brush really did is that it gripped onto the lashes and really coated all of them. So yeah, see that in Monday's video. I'm very grateful that LYS sent me this mascara. I've been loving their concealer and I think that's probably the reason why they reached out to me as well because they saw how much I've been loving their concealer. Kosas is coming out with two different lip formulas. Um, Kosas has not been the most reliable brand that I have been using. Some of the things have gone bad, some of the things have not gone bad, but they've gone bad for others. And now they're releasing lip formulas and I tried those lip liners last year and they literally came to me already rancid. Like I literally bought them at the week that they launched 
and they were already bad. So I really hope that they've been able to figure that out before they release this one. Uh, so this is the Weightless Lip Color. This is the Bullet Lipstick. It is a smooth, creamy lipstick like no other. One swipe um, colors. I'm guessing this is like a creamy uh, a creamy kind of a lipstick it has a bunch of different shades 26 dollars each apparently these are available now i will try and link them down below but i also saw this one from kosas and this is the wet stick really wet stick okay don't demonetize me. Moisturizing shiny sheer lipstick with ceramides, which sounds amazing. Because if there's one thing that my skin really loves, it's ceramides. It also really loves salicylic acid and it also really loves niacinamide. My skin is like, oh. So I feel like my lips would love something with ceramides. And this is a clean, ugh. Can we, when is that fat dying? Like soon, I hope, because I feel like we're all pretty over it. Balmy lip care. It's stick packed with squalane and ceramides that melts onto lip for a sheer wash of color and a touch of soft kissable shine. So this is more of a tinted lip balm that is a shiny like lip treatment. This seems very, very nice as well. This one is coming soon and it's going to be $24. I kind of want to try both of them, but at the same time, I'm like, what's the expiration time on this one? Because I feel like they're like, so far it's been anything from 10 minutes to two years. And I'm like, where are we at with this one? I feel like Makeup by Mario is one of those brands that get a lot of hype. A lot of people love the brand, a lot of people love the products, and now he's coming out with some new blushes. This is the Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil. Plumping usually means that I'm gonna feel like it's greasy, and it isn't the same kind of a compact that his bronze balm was in which wasn't for me i've seen a lot of people with dry skin really loving that one for me it stayed tacky on my skin while simultaneously being a little too sheer for my liking it just wasn't my favorite formula there are so many other cream uh, like bronzers that i prefer i have heard some people that also didn't like the balm that really liked his blush like bronzer stick. So maybe it would be the same with the blushes, that the blush sticks would be more up my alley. I don't know if this is gonna be the same balmy texture as the bronzers that came in this packaging, but if they are, I'm opting out. Also, none of these colors are like colors that I naturally gravitate towards. They are just a little too pink, a little too muted to be perfect colors for me again i might change my mind if i see them like in store but this is not going to be one of those things that i buy myself blindly if i see them in store and if i like them when i swatch them maybe but i'm opting out right now because i don't think this are going to be for me i think these are available now i will link them down below if nothing else i do think the listing is up so that you can have a closer peek at them if you want to let's talk about two sneak peeks that we have one of them is from one size beauty they are coming out with a new shade of the setting powder and it is in ultra pink it also says that it's going to be in honey but i don't see that on this picture here what i see is more of a muted almost peachy pink in this picture here i'm not surprised that brands are coming out with pink setting powders honestly the craze was so bananas and huda beauty's pink powder uh, has been selling out like absolute crazy as soon as it becomes available it gets sold out immediately I have tried pink powder, and if you, like me, do not have pink in your undertone, I don't think it looks good. It looks very artificial on me, and it's not the kind of look that I'm going for. So I think that this is one of those things that if you have a pinky or a peachy undertone, I think this is probably beautiful on you. But if you don't, you might feel the way that I do, which is like, it's not for me. I feel the same about this as people with pink and peach undertone felt about banana powder, that it just wasn't for them. I still use banana powder because it works for me. I do prefer a banana powder that has just a slight undertone though, so it doesn't become like yellow, but just like leaning a little bit in that direction. So I think that this is a super smart release, but it's not gonna be for me. 
Another release that I also think we've seen a sneak peek, and I think this release is super smart, uh, but it's not for me, is a hydrating setting mist or a hydrating makeup mist by Charlotte Tilbury. The brand does have a setting spray from before that I love. Let me actually show you mine. So this one is the Magic Hydrating Mist, which I think is gonna be perfect if you use powders and you have dry skin, or if you just wanna add an extra layer of moisture to your skin throughout the day or over skincare. I actually use a hydrating mist from Pixi over my skincare at nighttime, but this is the airbrush spray and I have a small bottle, but I use this, oh, I use this quite a lot. I think this is a good spray. I do see a difference with this one. I do have problems with my face makeup lasting on me because of my combo skin and because of how warm and humid it is where I live. So this isn't for me at all because this is like radiant, um, no. But I think that this is meant more as a skincare thing. I don't know if this is like a makeup spray. It might be more of a skincare spray. And like I said, I do use these kind of sprays on as a step in my skincare. I don't do hydrating sprays on my makeup because that's like asking for my makeup to want to run away from me. <laughs> We also have an upcoming palette from Dior Beauty. This is the Dior Backstage Palette in whatever this color story is. Is this really new? It is marketed as being new, but I'm like, this post even says she looks different. Does she? I feel like this looks like any palette from <laughs> a luxury brand the past 20 years. Um, I think I'm just not getting it. Again, we're back to the I am not the, the target audience for these expensive brands. They are more targeting people that love a no makeup makeup or a more natural look, which isn't really me, even though I'm having neutrals on today. It's not natural. So I don't think that this is for me and I don't think it's meant for me either. And I'm okay with that. But if you love this formula and you wanted to have a new palette, Congratulations, I guess. This one I am intrigued by, and this is from Half Magic Beauty. This is the Chrome Addiction Extensions in both the shimmers and matte. This is, according to me, the best matte liquid paints on the market. I like these more than I like the House Labs by far. Those I don't even like. I like these even more than I like the ones from About Face. Those are nice, but I like these more, and I'm so happy they're coming out with more shades. So this is gonna be in <laughs> uh, Frogalina, Crown Please, Serving Fairies, uh, Love you, Winkle, Baby Bunny, and Fairies Are Real. They are going to be three mattes and three shimmers, and or maybe four mattes and two shimmers. These are great. Um, I am getting PR from Half Magic Beauty, and usually I don't get PR as it's launched. I usually get it a little bit later. So I am going to wait and see if these show up. Let me actually show you this picture here, because this is a, a picture showing all of the colors that they have right now. Um, I am going to wait and see if I get this in PR. If I don't get them in PR, I am going to be buying the matte ones, because I think the matte ones are great. And like I said, I'm going to Dallas this weekend, and I'm kind of thinking if I should just pack very lightly and maybe just bring those because they're so easy to work with there's perfect for a one shadow look but still looking put together and opaque and doesn't crack or like flake off and i have like a lime green and i have a periwinkle maybe because i really like these and i'm excited that they're coming out with more colors i actually hope they'll come out with even more colors i want a yellow <laughs> please and thank you tart Listen, if you need help, could you like blink once for yes and twice for no? I feel like Tarte is being held hostage by the monster of the, the shifting pH, the adjusting makeup nonsense. Because this is what the eighth product in a row that they're releasing with the pH adjusting. Who asked for this? And I literally, I don't even say that anymore because I... You have told me that, like, there's always someone who's asking for stuff. But with this, I'm like, who did ask for this? Literally, we talked about a pH adjusting thing from Tarte not too long ago. And this is what... This is what the seventh release, eighth release, with, like, how many pH adjusting shades of pink do we need? I beg to differ, not this many. They came out with these, like, lip glosses. They were, like, a see-through glassy lip gloss that were like a blue and a green and they all looked pink 
they all looked pink and now for some absolutely mystifying reason those are also coming out in a stick form really were they that loved that we needed them in a second format so now we're having one two three four five six seven eight i think nine new shades of different pink they're they're 24 dollars each they're available now um let's just move on this is exciting i actually watched and you probably did as well those amazingly fun videos that lauren may beauty did about makeup brands that are no longer and i was actually planning to do something myself like that because i was like oh this is super inspiring i would love to do my take on this i have done a couple of videos on brands that are either closing or going bankrupt or doing the not uh, the chapter 11 bankruptcy, which is basically we're out of money, but we kind of still want to be in business. So please help us, which is like what Beach Cosmetics did and also what <sighs> Morphe for my brands did. And then like Makeup Geek and Coastal Sense have disappeared. But there are so many brands that have disappeared. And there was one brand that disappeared that said this isn't forever like this is not goodbye we're coming back we're reformulating and time just went on and i think a lot of us were like there's no way mark jacobs beauty is coming back after all this time they literally said see you soon like 200 years ago but you know what mark jacobs beauty seems to be actually coming back and i think that this also shows that Creating makeup takes so much longer than you think. I know just from creating my own brand and literally just offering one product, how long it takes. From doing collabs, like how long it takes. The process is just, there's so many people involved, packaging, marketing, someone's doing the website, some doing formulations and just going into production and actually producing something in a factory. That's not an afternoon, let me tell you. That's weeks and weeks and weeks. So... I think it's fascinating that like they are coming back and this is how long it took. So Marc Jacobs Beauty is coming back. This actually broke on Neta Porte, which is a luxury, uh, like a luxury department store, but like online. They have bags and shoes and clothing and beauty and all the things that you can find in like in Neiman, but like online. It's actually a really, really cool place to shop. I haven't, I think I've only shopped there once and I think I bought makeup actually. I think I bought makeup actually, but I do think that it is a very reliable place. That's what I wanted to come to. This is a reliable source. And if they say Marc Jacobs Beauty is coming soon, then Marc Jacobs Beauty is coming soon. That's all I have to say about that. We'll talk more about this once I know more, but I thought that this was so fun that this came out now because I am planning to film that video, maybe even tomorrow or on Monday or Tuesday next week. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. That is really interesting. What would you like to see come back from Marc Jacobs Beauty? And what would you like to see different? What about the brand are you hoping to see again? And what about the brand are you hoping to never see again? I would love to hear your thoughts. This was a little unexpected to me and I don't know if it's unexpected good or unexpected bad. You're gonna have to let me know what you think. But this is Super Goop are coming out with a mineral SPF 30 hydrating lipstick in four different shades and I would love to hear oh my god the, I literally got a app early of this exact lipstick showing up as I was that is too funny okay so I guess it's available right now on the app which means that it's probably launching on Sephora tomorrow as you're seeing this today for you so that's really interesting as well this is a buildable bold lip color that nourishes and protects with 100% mineral SPF that naturally softer smoother lips peppermint flavor Ooh. That actually made it a little bit interesting to me because I love minty makeup. I love minty makeup. But the thing that I don't love about these are the shades. I think all four of the shades are the kind of shades that I don't reach for. There's something about the undertones that just don't look like they're going to be for me. Um, but maybe you're interested. I know a lot of people love wearing a lot of SPF on your lips. I love doing that when I'm by the pool like SPF for your lips. I actually have something for Super Goop, from Supergoop that I use for that. And I think that this could be cool if you're the kind of person that spends a lot of time in the sun or outdoors and want to have like a lip color. I'm an indoors baby. I love being outdoors by the pool, but if I'm not by the pool, I'm by the computer. That's me. So I remember talking about these a while ago, or we just had a sneak peek of these Valentino. And this is apparently a lip and blush, like a dual use kind of an item. And I said one of the shades that was like a warm, 
almost yellowy orange br mid-tone brown. It was the kind of a color that I always go for, that I love wearing, I love owning, and just, I was basically like, please talk me out of this product. And I think it is the product that is lip swatched in the bottom corner on the model's lips that you're seeing here. And I still think that this looks really pretty. And I still think that I might try it out if I see it in store. But someone actually did say something that did stop me in my tracks and made me go, you know what? I don't know if that's for me. And that is that someone said that all of the Valentino Beauty makeup items are heavily fragranced with floral fragrances. And I don't like that. I don't, I don't mind makeup being scented, but florals? No, I don't want that. I don't like florals even in perfumes. I don't want florals in my laundry detergent. I don't want florals in, in my soap. I don't want floral scents whatsoever. And I definitely don't want it in my lip products because I don't know about you, but if it's like taffy flavored, like I'll eat taffy, but I'm not gulping down some flowers. I don't want to be tasting that. So when lip products smell a little too soapy or a little bit too flowery or even worse, taste like that as well, that's when I'm opting out. So I think that this is one of those things. I need to see it in store. I need to sniff it. And if it does smell like flowers, I'm out. Okay, let's talk about one last thing before we talk about this like a little mini giveaway that I'm gonna have. And that is the new summer collection by Jaclyn Cosmetics. Jaclyn Cosmetics was a brand that I feel like a lot of people were super excited about. And slowly but surely, less and less people are excited about not only the brand, but also her as a person. And I am an extremely naive and gullible person. And I take pride in that because it means that I am never cynical. I always believe the best about everyone. And you will have to be a pretty questionable person for me to actually think bad things about you or to think that you're doing something on purpose. Uh, and I will say, after hearing a lot of the things that have gone on behind the scenes, listening to Marlena's podcast, um, the podcast episode that she did on the sesh, I think that's what it's called. I do talk to Marlena behind the scenes. She is an amazing woman, so kind, so helpful so helpful and so kind. And also hearing what happened to Cozy, the owner of Cozy, I will say that sometimes it's too many things to be a coincidence. That's where I'm at. It's too many things to be a coincidence. And I also will say, even if I was the kind of a person that reviews makeup that people are interested in, regardless of the owner, which is not really how I do it. Although I will say I am the first person to give people a second chance to, to grow and to show that they can be better because I want people to grow and be a better person. But even if I was the kind of person that only reviewed what people wanted to see, I'm going to be honest with you. Jacqueline Cosmetics is not bringing in the views on YouTube anymore. Uh, so, I mean, there's literally no point in reviewing her makeup. I don't feel like her values align with mine and nobody's really interested in her makeup brand. I do think that these things look cute. I mean, it's an orange lip oil and an orange blush. I love orange. I'm wearing orange. But with that being said, I literally... <laughs> did a full video swatching orange blushes on my entire face and I did a favorites video not too long ago mentioning the orange lip oil from Blend Money Cosmetics. I own these things. I have this. I don't need to be spending my money here. I am gonna keep my money on my debit card and be super happy about it. Okay, I think that was everything. Let me scooch back. We can talk Oops, and we can talk about the giveaway. So I got a second PR box from Odensei. My first one got lost. So they sent me a second one. And then all of a sudden, my first one like, res like resurfaced like a freaking like phoenix bird. So I have it here. And I asked the owner if I could just like send it out as a giveaway. And she said, of course. And I was also able to fit. There is a Hella palette here. I do have a couple of spares of my collab with Una's Eye, which is the Hella palette. That palette is discontinued and no longer for sale, but I did put in a Hella palette in this. So in this uh, box that somebody's gonna win, you're gonna get the two new palettes from Una's Eye from the Jude 
series that they did. You're also going to get all of the jewelry pieces and you're going to get a brand new copy of the collaboration that I did with them, which is the Hella palette. And I am going, like I said, to Europe soon, so I won't be able to ship anything out. I mean, I haven't even been able to ship. I have packed all the giveaway boxes from the last giveaway, but I haven't been able to ship it out. So I will have this giveaway open until I come back until I come back from June. I will put the exact date in uh, a pinned comment. This is gonna be super easy. All you have to do is like the video, leave a comment, be subscribed to my channel, and just let me know just tell me something fun. Tell me something fun. Tell me something interesting. Tell me about your summer. Tell me about like any of the makeup releases that you're interested in. And let me know that you want to be entered into this giveaway. Don't leave any links. Don't leave any hashtags. And don't leave your email address. When you do that, YouTube will hide your comments. So no hashtags, <laughs> no links, and no email addresses. YouTube will hide your comment. So don't put that in your comment. And I will draw a winner to get this box once I get back from my little Europe vacation. So I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope your weekend's gonna be amazing. I'll see you again tomorrow for a new video. Don't forget that Cinch Beauty is having a little sale right now until Monday. And thank you also to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. I will see you tomorrow for a new video. Bye!